Welcome everyone to today's first online meditation class. We're going to talk about practicing non-judgment and releasing judgment today because judgment is something that really can make our life so much more difficult than it can actually be or it could be and um, I'm really excited to dive into this topic. It's also something that we discussed last week in Ibiza with my mastermind clients because it has come up a lot during that week. Um, and it was really interesting to see how being able to release judgment as a group can have such a powerful impact on the dynamic of the group and the energy that is within the group. So when you're um, able to release judgment around yourself, around others, um, it's going to make such a big difference in your own life, as well as in the life, in the lives of the people around you. So um, before we dive into the topic, uh, I just want to quickly explain how today's class is going to work. So First, I'm going to talk a little bit about non-judgment and how you can practice that and implement certain steps in your everyday life. Then we're going to do a meditation together. Um, and after that, you're going to journal. So I'm going to give you a couple of questions based on what we're going to talk about in the meditation based on judgment. And um, yeah, journaling is a really great practice because through journaling, you can access your subconscious mind. So we all have these crazy thoughts that are going on in our mind all the time. And um, there's a lot of like ego thoughts in the mind as well. And a lot of overwhelm sometimes and fears and anxieties. And we tell ourselves stories and we don't really get go deep to understand what the root cause of certain fears are, or what the root cause of overwhelm may be. So through journaling, you're able to access this subconscious mind, which is like if you um, think of your mind as an iceberg, you see the top of the iceberg, which is like 10%. And then you have the bottom of the iceberg, which is under the water, which is about 90% or more. So the, the part underneath the water, under, underneath the sur surface, is your subconscious mind. And through journaling um, and through consistent practice, you're going to be able to access these deeper rooted issues, these deeper fears, these deeper answers, which are, which are in your subconscious mind. So it's often that when you journal, and I'm going to be asking you questions, and you're going to be replying to those questions in your journal, you're going to first journal from your conscious mind to you, your answer will be something that you think first, right? And the more you journal, so after a couple of lines, you're going to dive deeper into your subconscious mind. And the more you practice journaling, the more you're going to be able to find your own answers to gain clarity and find relief in all the overwhelm in everyday life. Okay. So journaling is really important and really exciting when you can, um, yeah, fall in love with it because it can truly change change your life just like meditation does as well. So yeah, none judgment or let's talk about judgment first maybe. So judgment is something that we all have. It's normal for our brains to judge. Um, and I don't know if you know Gabby Bernstein, she has written a book called The Judgment Detox, um, which is amazing by the way. I haven't finished it yet, but she talks about her um, six steps to releasing judgment or escaping or getting out of the judgment cycle because judgment is really like it brings you in a downward spiral where you judge something and then since you judge you attract more of the negative energy and you judge more and then you just spiral down so um, she has six powerful steps that I want to share with you um, about releasing judgment and making friends with judgment basically because we're all going to judge. And even Gabby Bernstein says that she judges all the time, even though she has written a book about non-judgment or about judgment. So it's not that the goal is to never judge again. That's never going to happen because we judge everything from like what weather it is to like is today, what the person next to you in the bus is wearing and how someone smells and what they're doing on their phone and like all of these things in everyday life that we judge all the time. Um, that creates a lot of pressure on ourselves because really when you um, judge someone else, you point your finger at someone and you always have three fingers pointing back at you. So through, um, through that 
you really harm yourself more than you actually harm the other person that you're judging. You don't really harm anyone that you judge, you know, but you only harm yourself because you're making your own life difficult. You're getting into very negative, very strong energy that isn't serving you. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make sure you no longer point the finger at other people. And if you do, just make sure you can put it down as fast as possible as, as soon as you um, recognize it. So the six steps that Gabby Bernstein talks about in her judgment book is um, starts with the first one. The first one is pre um, witnessing your judgment without judgment. So that means that when you notice that you're judging someone or something, that you're not making your life difficult judging yourself for judging in the first place. So often, you know, especially in this process of working on non-judgment, you may be thinking, oh no, I've judged this person again and this is so wrong. Why am I even doing this? And then you're actually judging yourself. So the first step to releasing judgment is to observe your judgment without judgment. So you notice, okay, I judged this person for X, Y, Z. And it's interesting that I'm judging this um, and that's it. And you release it. So you don't beat yourself up for it and judge yourself for judging. So witnessing your judgment without judgment. Number two is honoring your own wounds because really only things trigger us where we have wounds inside of us. Um, you don't judge another person for something that you think is great or for something that you are very confident in. Something I see a lot, especially among women, is that they judge other women on their bodies. Like, oh, she's so skinny. Oh, she's she has such big boobs. Oh, she, you know, she her waist is too small or like, oh... Um, she's too like sexy or whatever. Like we judge other women for how they look. It's because we don't like the way we look because we're not that sexy. We're not that skinny. We're not that beautiful, whatever that is. Right. Um, so we're trying to kind of compensate with the judgment for our own, own wound for our own lack of confidence. So it's, Judgment is realizing, okay, I'm judging someone. Why am I judging this person? What am I trying to um, compensate within myself? What is the wound that I have myself that I'm trying to cover up because um, this person has it and I don't? Okay, so honoring your wounds, number two. Number three, put love on the altar. So I, I love to say that whenever we experience judgment, that it's great to send this person love. So instead of judging someone and saying something like, oh, they have all these things, oh, they're rich, they're greedy, or like whatever it is you're judging, uh, she's so confident, try to send this person love. So you can imagine that there is love floating from your heart to this person's heart, no matter if the person is next to you or if it's virtual, like it's the person somewhere, even on Instagram, you can just picture yourself like creating this bond between your heart and their heart. So you share your love, you send them love instead of fear, right? Judgment is always based on fear and we always have love or fear. We can always choose if you want to do, if you want to act with love or with fear. Then number four is see this person for the first time. Now, Usually when we see someone for the first time, we are already judgmental. Before someone opens their mouth, we already have an opinion about someone. So what you're trying to do is, especially if you have, um, if you're judging someone that you know, someone, a friend, a family member, um, that you're visual or Im imagining that you're seeing this person for the first time. So for the first time, you don't know all of their stories. You don't know all of their mistakes and all the things that you don't like, right? So imagine seeing this person for the first time and yeah, just approaching the situation with that, um, with that energy of seeing someone for the first time without knowing all of the background stories that you have. Number five is cutting the cord. So that's something that Gabby Bernstein is really big on. Um, she actually has a, a cord cutting meditation as well, where basically when you judge someone, you have this imaginary cord that connects you with this person, right? You're attached to this person. You're attached to how confident they are or how rich they are or how, what beautiful of a life they have. And you are energetically attached to this person. So cutting the cord means that you're taking a sword or a knife or scissors or whatever, and you decide to cut the cord between you and this person. So you're releasing this person, you're releasing the energy that's attached to this person, and you just really focus on yourself. 
Number six is bringing the shadows to the light, which means forgiving. Forgiving this person for what they've done to you, but also forgiving yourself for judging, right? We, we can be so hard on ourselves when we judge. Um, so yeah, those are the six steps. Witnessing your judgment without judgment, honoring your wounds, put love on the altar, see for the first time, cut the cords and bring your shadows to the light. Where in judgment, you know, it's always a great opportunity to look within and see why are we judging in the first place? Why do I have a reason to judge? Because if you're happy, if you're confident, if you're excited about your life, about your relationships, about what you do, you don't really have a reason to judge anyone, right? Because you already have everything that you want. So from that place, you can learn to release the judgment. And a great practice is also gratitude, um, which actually we're going to add um, right now to the journaling practice that we're doing afterwards. Um, so yes, you cannot feel grateful and feel angry or judgmental at the same time. It's absolutely not possible. When you tap into gratitude, everything else will fall away. When you're focusing on judgment, you cannot be grateful at the same time, okay? So you can kind of balance out your judgment with gratitude, with just writing down things that you're grateful for, which we're gonna do in a minute. Okay, well, um, we can get started with the meditation shortly. Um, what I wanna say before we start meditating is that we have this beautiful body that talks to us 24 seven, right? We have sensations, we have emotions, we have pain, like physical pain in the body. All of these things um, are indicators that something is going on in your body, right? When you're excited, your heart beats faster and you're excited and you feel this excitement in your chest usually and you feel like this energy. When you're angry, you can feel it probably in your throat how like everything is t tightening. Um, when you're anxious, you can feel how you know, your heart beats faster, all of these things. So we have the body that really talks to us about how we're feeling and um, what's going on in our lives. So I really encourage you to um, observe your body without judgment today and see how you feel in certain areas of your body. Um, what you can see maybe, maybe you see some colors or sensations and whatever it is, you will be able to just observe. So don't try to judge it. Don't try to understand why it's a certain way. Just observe and then take it to the journaling practice. Um, and being able to listen to your body and um, what's going on is an, an amazingly powerful tool to understanding your life, to getting clarity and understanding yourself better also is the breath. The breath is what gives us life. We don't breathe. We don't, we don't live. Um, and the way you breathe is going to indicate how relaxed you are um, and what else is going on in your life. So it's a practice, meditation, as well as journaling. Both are practices. So that means it's, it's like when you go to the gym and you train your muscles, it's the exact same thing. So you have to practice it over and over. It's not about being perfect the first time. It's not about, you know, going to Chinese class and then speaking Chinese after the first hour. <laughs> That's not how it works. You have to practice. You will get better at it um, and try not to judge yourself in the process because it's a practice and it's nothing that you can just take off your list ever you will constantly be meditating every day for hours, <laughs> not, not hours like on the same day, but like in your life, you're going to be meditating for a long time, for weeks, for months, for years. Um, and it's going to be a practice just like you brush your teeth every day as well. You can get comfortable. If you have a candle you want to light, you can do that. If you have an essential oil near you that you can put on your wrist and inhale a few times, um, that's amazing as well. Okay. <clears throat> Sit comfortably wherever you are right now. If you're sitting on a chair, make sure you have your feet firmly on the ground. 
If you're sitting cross-legged, make sure that your spine is straight, your chin is slightly tucked. If you're laying on your back, that's fine as well. If you feel like you need a little bit more grounding today, you can have your palms facing down, either on your thighs or on the bed next to you. If you feel like today you're ready to receive new energy, you can have your palms facing up. Now just start by observing your breath without trying to change it, without judging it if it's good or bad or long or short. Just observe where your breath goes. Maybe it goes into your chest, maybe it goes into your belly. Now we're going to slowly lengthen your breath together. For a slow breath helps relax your nervous system. Helps get you into a blissful state. So we're going to inhale on four and exhale on six together. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Continue by yourself. Now first you're going to bring your attention to your root chakra. Your root chakra is located at the bottom of your spine, your legs and your feet, and it's what connects you to the ground. Bring your breath into this area of your body and visualize a beautiful red light expand with every inhale at the bottom of your spine into your legs and your feet. Slowly, this red light becomes orange in your sacral chakra. 
which is located in your lower belly, underneath your belly button. With every inhale, you expand this beautiful orange light in your lower belly. Maybe it's easier than the one you did before. Maybe it's more difficult. Don't judge it. Just observe how it feels. Slowly this orange light becomes yellow in your solar plexus, in between your rib cage. Imagine how with every inhale you expand your beautiful yellow light in your solar plexus area. If you notice you, your mind is wandering off, just come back to this yellow color in your stomach area. Slowly this yellow light is going to become green in your heart space, in your chest. With every inhale, you visualize how this green light becomes bigger and expands into your entire chest and your arms and your hands up to your fingers. With your next inhale, the green light becomes light blue in your throat. With every inhale, you expand this beautiful light blue light in your throat, in your jaw, Slowly this light blue light becomes a beautiful blue on your forehead, on your third eye chakra. You clear any thoughts, any overwhelm in your mind with this blue light. Slowly this blue light becomes purple on your crown.
at the top of your head. With every inhale, your purple light on your crown grows. Now your chakras are aligned and balanced and your energy can flow seamlessly from the bottom of your spine to the top of your head. Now I want you to bring to mind something or someone that you judged recently. It can be a person, friend, coworker, loved one. It can be your job, it can be yourself. Someone or something that you have a lot of negative energy towards, a lot of judgment. I want you to see this person or thing in front of you and without judging, just observe what you see. Be present, see what they're wearing, what their energy is like. And now bring your focus inwards. Your body is talking to you. When you have this person in front of you, where are you feeling something in your body? Maybe it feels heavy or dark. Maybe you see some other color. Maybe you feel contraction. Just observe this feeling without judging it. Leave this feeling there for a moment and reconnect with your root chakra. The chakra that gives you stability and safety. You're going to slowly grow roots from your feet from your sitting bones, from your legs into the ground. And your roots are growing stronger and deeper. And stronger and deeper into the center of the earth.
once you feel that you're grounded and really stable, you're going to connect back to that feeling that you had towards this person. Maybe it was in your throat or on your shoulders or in your chest or somewhere else. And you're going to drop this heaviness now. These feelings of darkness and pain, frustration and judgment. You're going to drop them from your body. Give it up to Mother Earth. You can see how this heaviness drops into Mother Earth, almost floats down your roots that you've built into the center of the planet. Slowly you feel lighter in your body. You notice how this heaviness has gone. You're feeling light and free. Release the last bit of darkness from your body. Give it up to Mother Earth. Let it float into the center of the planet. And now you're going to slowly draw energy from the center of the planet. through your roots and you can visualize a beautiful white light come through your roots clearing all the darkness all the heaviness in your body you keep pulling this energy from mother earth through your roots and you fill up your lower belly your stomach, your heart space with this beautiful white light. You see this white light expand into your hands, your arms, to your throat, your head. Until you can see your entire body vibrate with this beautiful white light. And I want you to remember the law of attraction, which says uh, whatever energy you're sending out is coming back to you. When you send out judgment and fear, you're going to attract more of it. When you send out love and beautiful white light, you're going to attract more of that. As you're vibrating with this beautiful bright white light,
you can slowly, very slowly release the visualization. Come back into your physical body, to that place where you are physically right now. Start taking some deeper inhales into your lower belly. Slowly bring some movement to your fingers and your toes. Stretch your body if you need to. Do whatever movement feels good to you right now. When you feel like you have arrived back into the present moment, you can slowly open your eyes. Take your journal and the first thing I want you to write down is how are you feeling right now and this is may sound like a simple question I don't want you to just say something like I'm feeling good or I'm feeling relaxed I want you to write an actual paragraph about it you can write ser- several sentences about how you are feeling right now be specific feeling good is not specific what is the emotion behind it how are you feeling in your body where in your body can you feel a sensation right now so i'm giving you a couple of minutes to write out how you are feeling right now The next thing I want you to write about is 10 things that you are grateful for right now. 
And please don't just make a list, but write something like, I am grateful for X, Y, Z, for every sentence, so that you can repeat that gratitude. Maybe you find it difficult to find 10 things to be grateful for. Then look at simple things like being able to have access to internet so you can join this class, having the money to pay for this class, being able to hear and speak, being able to write, having a roof over your head, being able to grow up in the Western world or wherever, whichever country you grew up in. Now in your next journaling question, I want you to write down what judgment you've been able to release in this class. What were the thoughts that you were holding on to about someone or about yourself that you were able to release and pass on to Mother Earth? Next, I want you to write about why was it so important for you to release this judgment towards this person or towards yourself?
And the last question I want you to answer is, how can you release judgment in the moment when it comes up next time? So since you're going to be witnessing your judgment without judgment, you're going to realize when you judge the next time. And I want you to think about or find solutions how you can release that judgment when you observe it the next time. What are you going to say to yourself? How are you going to remind yourself that judgment isn't serving you? Now you can quickly close your eyes again. Fold your hands in prayer pose in front of your heart. Take a couple of deep inhales and slow exhales. Observe how you're feeling in your body now after this class, after journaling. Thank yourself for taking this time on this Monday evening, this time for you. Thank yourself for showing up. You could have been doing lots of other things tonight, but you decided to come sit with me and take some time for you. can slowly open your eyes and then gently get out of your meditation mode do whatever feels good to you tonight take a shower take a bath make yourself a cup of tea read a book take it easy you enjoyed this class.